Hello Sagittarius. So this is your weekly reading. I'm going to start the reading from the tomorrow the 8th until the 15th. Okay, I'm going to first start with the tarot. So you can see what's going on. Alright, so universe, what's the current energy between Sagittarius and the person that's on Sagittarius' mind for November the 8th? to 15 2021 three of, pent three of pentacles okay so i see this is about working with each other um things are cohesive universe the person that's on such a mind we would like to say such here is the world hmm. let's see what's about universe person that's on such here is mine who are they keeping hidden from such areas nine of cups okay. and also look bad <laughs> it's just the world is like a neutral card it can go both ways okay universe the person that's on such his mind, why are they keep I mean, universe person that's on such his mind? How do they feel about such series for November the 8th to the 15th, 2021? Ace of Swords. How do they feel? Universe, the person that's on such his mind, what is their true feelings for such series? Five of Wands. Universe, the person that's on such his mind, what is their intentions with such series? Page of Cups. Universe, the person that's on such his mind, what actions would they take with such series? For November, I got a lot of cards here. Universe, the person that's on such is my the actions that they take eight of pentacles. Okay, good. Okay, so I feel like they're gonna be clearing the air with you. Um, but it's not bad. I don't see you guys breaking up. I just see a clearing of air. You guys been on the same page. That's good. I like that. Um so what would they like to say is the world, okay? So I feel like they want to start fresh with you, a whole clean slate with you. Okay, um, they want to show you that they have mature, okay, because the world's all about graduation, it's all about graduating, so I feel like it's more of maturing. Um, then what they keep in hidden is the Nine of Cups. I feel like they definitely see you as a wish fulfillment, but probably you guys are not too sure, like, how do they actually view you, how do they feel about you, okay? How does it, how do they feel about you? The Ace of Swords. They feel like you're very direct. That's such as energy. They, they feel like you're honest. And I feel like they're going to be honest this week. Okay. With you. Now, true feelings is the five of wands. Um, at the same time, they may feel like <laughs> you guys, um, you and your person, they may feel like both you guys can be for tick for tat. You guys can be petty. Okay. Both you guys can match each other pettiness. <laughs> Okay, but I feel like this person still want to be with you. Um, I feel like you inspire them, okay? I feel like you inspire them to kind of like be more open, more free with themselves, okay? Probably this is someone who likes to not wear their heart on their sleeve, but they're going to be changing, okay? I feel like they're going to be more emotionally expressive. Now, their intention is the page of cups. I feel like it's to apologize, okay? Um to kind of wave the white flag. I'm going to clarify that. Um, and then the actions, Eight of Pentacles, is about working on this. Okay, Jan, I just Four of Pentacles. Um, so again, I see this person do see your value, and I feel like they want to hold on to this connection. So let me clarify the Page of Cups. Universe, clarify Page of Cups. Eight of Wands. Okay. Yeah, they're going to be initiating um, apology to you. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. So it's like clearing the air and then you guys getting back together, getting back good with each other. So let's look at the other spread. This person could be a Pisces, a Virgo here, um, Taurus, Aries, another Satch. Could be Aquarius as well. So you see what else I'm getting? That card won't fall out. Let me get this. Okay, so universe, give me a four cards, but I don't messages you have. So there is Midas, Priest, Universe, give me two more cards. Two more name. Universe, give me two. So Avenger, Beggar, Alchemist. This card remind me of the Magician. Um, and then we have all Athlete. And there is Poet. Um, so with the Midas and Miser, Poet, Athlete, and Alchemist, 
an avenger too i feel like this is all their energy right here i feel like they think okay this person's kind of like confidence i mean kind of this person's very confident that you guys can work it out that you guys can you know build with each other you will take them back okay then i got priest and beggar i feel like you're trying to listen to your higher self um you try to listen to your higher self and say, is this what I deserve? Okay. Is it what I need in my life? Want in my life? Okay. It's like you're trying to see like, is this person actually right for you? Okay. Because you may feel like this person pushed it to the next level and you may feel like that's what you don't want or what you don't need in your life right now. Okay. So I see you kind of like not being quick to you quick to mend things with them is more like you're trying to see like do you actually need this in your life do you actually want them in your life right now okay it's kind of like you're not gonna make a decision just yet okay that's what I'm saying so let's see here okay universe give me a four card spread and messages you have for Sagittarius so let go of control issues. Universe, give me three more cards for yourself. Universe, give me two more cards. Heart to heart conversation and deception. General energy is give your relationship a chance. See, it's like you don't want this to repeat again. Like the the lows of this relationship. The highs are good, but when it's low, it's like you don't want to repeat that. This is kind of like a crossroad energy. That's what I would say. Because I do see them maturing, but at the same time, you may feel like this is going to be temporary. This is not going to be something that's going to be long term where they are changing. Okay. So let's see. All right, universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Sagittarius for November the 8th to the 15th, 2021? So there is strength. There is love. Universe, give me two more cards. Universe, give me two more cards. There's deceit. There's confidence. And they're high priestess, okay? So that's them, okay? They're very confident that you will take them back. And you want to mend things with them. There is a lot of love. I do see that. But at the same time, it's like you don't want certain things to repeat. All right, universe, give me a four card spread. Mature man. Distant horizons. Universe, give me two more cards. High honor. And toy and labor. Yeah, okay. So I see them going to be putting the work. They're going to be putting the work. So if you want consistency, I feel like they're going to be consistent. So if you still want this person, I would just say take it slow because I'm seeing that they're going to put in the work. Okay. So take it slow to just build the trust again. Okay. Um, yeah. Because I feel like they're going to be coming correct with that courthouse and self-worth. Um, they're going to be coming correct. It's just like this is someone who's probably used to like chaos used to like you know just toxic connections is like they got to get out of that energy of toxicity basically they have to be more mature okay and i see they are going to start doing that this week okay so let's look here Okay, universe, give me a three card spread. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? So, sunglasses, self indulgence, boat, and karmic relationship, abundance. So, yeah, this person has been watching you. Um, if you guys have separated or just stopped talking, okay, they're trying to see if you move on, okay. Um, keep a pos positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, and gratitude, bliss. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out, 
receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues, focus on self, self worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self appreciation. Then it is fleeting, trigger, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So let's see right here. All right, universe, give me a four card spread of messages. Okay. So there is destiny, recognition, reward, patience, and planning. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. Universe, give me one more card. Rest and rejuvenate, confident defeat, ace of swords, the star. So universe, clarify destiny. Movement, choices, decision, and the three of cups. So it's like the two of wands and the three of cups. Yeah, so this person feel like you you guys are meant to be, okay? It's like they take you for granted at times because they feel like, okay, this connection is so strong, Sagittarius is not going to go nowhere, okay? That's what's going on, and that's not the case, okay? Especially with Sagittarius. <laughs> so, um... That's what I'm saying. It's like they took you um, for they took you as advantage of you thinking that you're gonna stay with them, and that's why they act like that. But it's like they waking up now and knowing that okay, I pushed it too far. I need to mature. I need to do what's necessary. Okay, to keep Sagittarius so Sagittarius don't leave me. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm saying. Let's see what else I'm getting. So, universe, give me a five-card spread. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Stepping into power. You are strong beyond measures. Fog in. Go slow. Take time. Yeah. This is the, the advice. Basically, just, you know, take time with them. Um, I see they're going to be putting the work. So, I don't feel like they're going to be complaining of you wanting to take it slow again. Ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. Choosing your path, all is possible. Cleansing waters, purification activates the vibrant life force. Jenna energy is lucky is on your side. New moon Sagittarius, so you and your power, okay? So the ball is in your court. Give me your power. Let's look at the angel answers. Hey, right, universe, give me a four card spread. And that's just you have for Sagittarius. Choosing your direction is up to you. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys have been thinking about just moving on. That's how I see. It's like a crossroad energy. Um, then I, there's romance, but there's love here. Compromise. This person's willing to, you know, act right. <laughs> Universe, give me one more card. Wait. Yep. They don't want you to move forward. Yeah, so I see they're going to be changing. Starting this week, I do see that. It just right now, you're not too sure of... Do you want this in your life at this moment? So you're not going to make a decision just yet? That's what the cards are showing. So let's see here. Okay, universe, give me a four card spread. And let's just see you have four Sagittarius. So there is fire. There's rebirth. This is them trying to come to you in a correct manner. Then there's acceptance. It's like them accepting their flaws, their wrongdoing. And then I got the new direction. I feel like it's more with that world card, you know, bringing things back to how it used to be. Also, like starting on a fresh new slate, okay, with that two of cups, bringing love into the situation, balance, okay. So that's what I'm saying. That's not bad. Let's look at this stack. Universe, give me a two card spread. What message do you have for Sagittarius? Universe, give me. Okay. So, Jenna Energy is worry, courage, perseverance. So, yeah, some of you guys was worried about the future of this connection. I feel like what it's trying to tell you is like, don't worry. I feel like this person is going to be more initiative, be more considerate, okay? They are going to be listening to their intuition choosing love okay they're gonna be choosing love versus ego okay and with the perseverance i feel like they are going to try to really show you that they care about you really try to work on this connection okay that's what i'm seeing 
okay so it's like them realizing they was acting horrible <laughs> and they're trying to act right right now okay so that's the reading that i have for you Sagittarius. thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing if this video resonates you can definitely book a personal read with me at queen for the tarot at gmail.com